Thanks for tuning in to my latest watch unboxing and mini tour video. Today, I'll be unboxing the Tax Automatic Vintage Lens 2. This timepiece ships in a very interesting wooden packaging. The top lid slides back, revealing a foam gasket, which helps to protect the top case of the timepiece. Removing the gasket, we see the presentation of the tax timepiece atop the pillow in the box, with the protective lens cap affixed to the timepiece, which is yet another excellent design touch by the uh, tax team. Removing the contents of the box, we find the tax automatic vintage lens 2 timepiece with the lens cap on uh, and warranty information. Here's a peek at the design of the empty presentation box. Warranty and instruction information are provided via a barcode plate, which is a very futuristic, if not unique, approach to providing watch paperwork information. Removing the timepiece from the pillow, you immediately appreciate the various design elements of the custom-made lens cap for this timepiece, further lending to the vintage photography theme of this timepiece. As you can see, the lens cap is very functional and does a good job at protecting the case, bezel, and crystal of this timepiece. Removing the custom lens cap is as easy as undoing the snap enclosure, revealing the true beauty of the vintage camera inspired timepiece. You can see that this is a prototype model, serialized number 0000, engraved on the case side. You also get a good look of the detailed knurling on the bezel edge of this timepiece from this view. A view of the dial reveals the fisheye lens design meant to replicate a vintage style camera. From this look, you can also get a peek of the partially skeletonized dial revealing the Miyota 82SO movement used to power this timepiece. Staying true to its vintage camera theme, the bezel turns bi-directionally to mimic the feel of manual focus of the camera lens. Of additional note, from this view you can see the numbers on the outer bezel track and inner white chapter ring. These numbers are placed strategically to replicate the focal point numbers used on a camera lens. And you see further detailed engraving on the case in of the uh, tax name. The opposite side of the case shows more strategic and relevant number placing. To further mimic a vintage camera with the beats per hour, of the Miyota movement 21,800. You also get an idea of just how thick this Horween leather strap is, but it's still buttery soft and very high quality. The case height on this timepiece comes in at 16 millimeters in thickness, so probably on the taller side of a timepiece that you'd wear with a cuffed long sleeve shirt. A look on the wrist shows just how much of a beauty this timepiece is. At 16 millimeters, it does have a fairly tall profile, as said, but the short lug length on the case allows this timepiece to be wearable and extremely comfortable on the wrist, especially for a timepiece that measures in at 47 millimeters in diameter. watch is simply beautiful at any angle.
the brushed steel fixed keeper gives the measurement specs, specs of the strap at 22 millimeters. And the strap does have quick release pins to aid in an easy strap change. With sapphire crystals front and back, a unique design replication of a vintage camera and high grade materials used in the construction of this timepiece, the Tax Automatic Vintage Lens 2 is a watch that will prove to be a head turner and conversation piece. This model sold out within hours of its initial release, so I would definitely keep an eye out for the restock as this timepiece is a real must have for the watch collector and photog buff. Thanks again for viewing. Please hit the like button and subscribe to receive all the latest video content. Until the next time, ask yourself, how's your wrist game?